Well, well, well. You know, <clears throat> for several years, several years, you hear from so many um, old school NBA fans um, and even players of previous generations on how the current NBA as it is, it's so much easier to score. There's no defense. Everything is catered toward offense. And you hear a lot of people, and this is no knock to them, this is just what it is in some senses, because, I mean, if you're younger, you hadn't perhaps maybe seen the NBA from years past. You know, they say, oh, man, you old heads are just hating, you know, and everything was not better back then, and look how athletic they are. Y'all just need to, y'all just need to stop being some haters, man. <clears throat> and for me personally, as someone who has been watching the NBA pretty much since 1989, uh, and if you've watched this longer, you've noticed the change. You've noticed how it went from uh, a physical game to these days, not so very physical, to where everything is, is obviously slanted toward the offense, <clears throat> which is why we see some of the, the gaudy offensive numbers uh, that we see now. And for years we've said this in this mess or you know, they're trying to appeal to the casuals. Uh, you should ask NASCAR how that goes when you try to appeal to the casuals. But that's a discussion for another video. But at any rate, <clears throat> and, 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 and the comments that you see <clears throat> are not the first because Lucas said the same thing uh, a few weeks ago. And I don't want to run out and do a video and be like, oh, well, if Lucas said it, it must be true. Um, Damian Lillard comes out and says the same thing. And this, you know, somebody who's been in the league for a, a while. But I will say this, in less than two years, Luka has noticed this already. <clears throat> the stark difference. And what the and, and, and just as a quick, quick wrap-up, he basically said that it's easier to score in the NBA than it is um, in international ball, FIBA basketball, uh, EuroLeague. Um, and to be honest, he's correct. Someone who's been, I've been watching a lot more overseas basketball over the past couple of years, and it is much more physical, much more physical than the NBA. And that was not always the case, but it certainly is now. Um, there's a lot more defensive resistance that you have to put up with over there as you're over here. But to hear someone as highly regarded and well respected uh, as Damian Lillard to come out and say the exact same things, <clears throat> as you can see. The quote that's up on the screen now. Now I've got the quote on the screen, but and it's going to scroll down. Um, but rather me have to try to read it at the speed of the scroll or too fast. I just go ahead and and uh, read it for you. And this is he was asked about Luca's previous comments that I just referenced about it being easier to score FIBA international basketball than in, than, than in the NBA. Excuse me. Couldn't get it out. He says, oh, I, I can see why. Best scores in the NBA score from three and get fouled. In FIBA, not as many foul calls, more physical. Also, no defensive three seconds, so the paint is more crowded and refs don't blow the whistle. Fill that in. It's hard. There are so many things that allow scoring to be easier in the NBA. You know what? <clears throat> He's absolutely right. Um, and I'm so glad to finally hear somebody, a, a, a contemporary, say the same things that we have been saying for years. So now, will, will he be a hater? Is he just being a crotchety old man who's just standing on the, on the porch shaking his fist at the clouds? Or is he saying things that any person with a monochrome of, of functional brain activity who's observed the NBA for longer than a few years would be able to, to obviously see. Uh, <clears throat> now, does this mean they're going to, to do anything and, and, and give the defense some ability? No, because as we know, while defense may win championships, unfortunately, offense brings in ratings. And like I said earlier, the NBA is so hell-bent on, on bringing the, the mystical, magical, casual audience into its fold 
they're going to to not reverse course and and even more so now considering the fact that that ratings have been in the toilet for the past year and a half um, and the fact that they just started having fans back in the buildings um, toward the latter parts of the of the season um, the NBA has got to try to recoup that money because those TV deals are going to come up for renewal very soon, um, which, <clears throat> of course, will affect the salary cap. So, of course, the players wouldn't want that because, shoot, you know, why would you want to make your profession any harder than it has to be? If scoring, if, if 20 points a game can get you $15 million, oh, boy, I'm really, let me go back. 20 points a game can get you $20 million these days. I mean, why would you? Sorry about that. Had a, to run outside there um, real quick. But anyway, like I was, I was saying, I believe I was talking about the, the ease of scoring and, and why the NBA will not reverse course on those. But just like I was talking about, it boils down to one thing, money. Um, money for the league in terms of uh, increased television and advertising revenue because, you know, people like offense. Um, as that goes up, that means the television deals can be higher, which means the salary cap can go up, which means the players can get more money. So that and the fact, like I was just alluding to, I mean, why would they want to make their, their games more difficult by actually having to go against defense? So that's not going to change anytime soon. And I think to, to think otherwise at this juncture is just wistful thinking because, you know, it's, it's sad to say, but it's, this is the, the current NBA that we have right now. But it was uh, refreshing, eye-opening, and just a confirmation of what we've been saying for years. Um, as it relates to the NBA, to hear people who, who aren't retired but are actually in, in the trenches on the court, sneakers still squeaking right now, to just confirm what we've been saying all along. But I would like to know, what do you think on, on Dame's recent thoughts on scoring in the NBA? Do you think that this kind of sheds the NBA in a negative light as it relates to how the game is played uh, overseas, do you think this could potentially spur them to make some slight changes to bring back some of the physical resistance and the physicality, um, the defensive uh, aspects, if you will, that caused many of us to look back on previous eras fondly? Um, but what, let, let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, also, definitely be sure to uh, head over to our our website, uh, sneakershoptalk.com, where we cover sneakers and sports, a variety of other things. Please check out there. Also, uh, head over to our merchandise store and, and pick up some of our fine wares, linked to all of which will be in the description below. We'll be back with more videos uh, real soon. Take care. Peace.